Now, I'm in a very peculiar business, folks. Oh, not the magic stuff. No, I, I levitate the ladies in the air, and I saw them in several pieces. Incidentally, it's my fervent wish that someday a lady magician will saw a gentleman in several pieces <laughs> and perhaps forget to put them back together again in some cases. <laughs> but I, I do that sort of thing. I, um, I appear on stages around the world as a conjurer. Now, the American term for it is magician. It's not a good expression because if you look in the dictionary, the strict definition of magician is one who uses magic. And magic, the definition I prefer from a leading dictionary, is the attempt to control nature by means of spells and incantations. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, in my time, as you might have guessed, I have tried spells and incantations. <laughs> no good. <laughs> You can spell an incant all you want. <laughs> the lady will still be on the couch waiting patiently to float into the air and will be imprisoned in the box and the saw blade descending upon her unprotected midriff uh, and in some danger of being severely scratched, if not worse. <laughs> Spells and incantations don't work. You have to use skullduggery. And let me make it very clear what the magical trade, the conjuring trade, if Mark correct is conjuring, is the approximation of the effect of a true magician using means of subterfuge and trickery. The magician, if you will, in the American usage, is an actor playing the part of a wizard. We are entertainers. I don't think that there are many folks, but there are some out there, by David Copperfield's own admission to me, who still believe that really he can do the things that he purports to do. Now, after magical performances, I've, we've all undergone the same experience, all of us in the trade. You get people coming to you afterwards and saying, uh, I really enjoyed what you did. Thank you so much for coming. And you say, well, it's great to be here. I'm happy that you were pleased with it. And then they, they, they buttonhole you and say, but um, you know what, the, the business with, the, uh, you know, with the, the bottles there that multiplied and everything, else, that's, obviously that's a trick. And the one where you, uh, you, know, you did the thing with the, with the rings and the ropes, and so that's, obviously that's a trick. But the one where you told the lady what word she'd chosen out of the newspaper, that, that, of course, can't be a trick. I say, yes, that's a, that's a trick, too, but um, it's disguised as a miracle of a semi-religious nature. And they wink at you, and they say, sure. And they walk away, and they tell their friends afterwards, well, he won't admit it, but we all know. <laughs>